Good morning boys and girls. I'm going to share with you today one of my favourite stories. It's called Beautiful Oops and it's by Barney Salzberg and it's a great story all about mistakes because boys and girls everybody makes mistakes. All grown-ups everybody makes mistakes but the most important thing is what you do with them. So this is a book all about mistakes in art and how you can turn them into something fantastic. I hope you enjoy it. Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. Oops, a torn piece of paper is just the beginning. They've made the tear into a crocodile. Every spill has lots of possibilities. They've made that spill into an elephant. Bent paper, what's it gonna be? Is something to celebrate. They've made that bent corner into a penguin. A little drip of paint lets your imagination run, run wild. And they've made those drips into something exciting. A scrap of paper can be fun to play with. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. Look what they've made those smudges into. A stain. Oh, what's it going to be? has potential if you play with its shape. Now I make coffee stains on lots of things. Maybe your mummies and daddies do too. Holes in your paper are worth exploring. Wow, that's an exciting one. There's even some staples and some tape here. When you think you've made a mis well, when you think you've made a mistake, oops, think of it as an opportunity to make something beautiful. Wow. And that's the end of my favourite story. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you. This lesson is for years two, three and four and I'm going to show you how to do an oops drawing. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the story, uh, the oops story, one of my favourite ones. So I've got lots of pieces of paper, uh, lots of oops mistake pieces of paper that you might have around your house. And I'm going to show you how to make them into something creative and something beautiful and exciting. So... This first paper I have, I had this lying around my house. It's a genuine oops piece of paper. I was teaching my little girl Layla how to do some scribbles. And these are two stains from coffee cups and there's some more here. I don't know if you can see them very well in the camera. Hopefully you can. So I thought we could change these mug, coffee mug stains into something exciting. So there's two side by side. So I thought they would make a good bicycle maybe. Uh, perhaps they would make a good, they could be the start of some binoculars or maybe some glasses. I think I'm going to turn them into some glasses. Glasses like eyeglasses, spectacles. So I'm going to go around them. Okay. These are going to be some glasses. Now, who's going to be wearing the glasses? Let me see. There we go. I'm going to do a big smile. Looking good. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. I think it's going to be a boy with some spiky hair. Okay, so I have turned my oops into something exciting. Um, so that is an idea for coffee cups 
stains. These are some stains that I had some oops moments when I was making the homemade inks. Okay, so what could we turn these into? Now, this one you can see is kind of dripped down. You could blow it. I know our year threes have had some practice of ink blowing. You could blow it to make an interesting shape if you like. I decided this looks kind of like somebody's blowing something out. So I'm going to make, oh, I think I'm going to make a little wand like you would use to blow bubbles. I'm going to have somebody holding it. And there's a little girl holding it. And she's going to be blowing. Can I make her mouth, her lips are blowing. Okay, and it's like she's blowing this through the hoop. Kind of like she's blowing bubbles. Just an idea. I'm just thinking as I go, boys and girls. Um, now, you could have your mum and dad make a oops for you if you want. They could do a scribble for you or a splodge of ink. Um, now, if you have googly eyes, do I have any here? I did look some out there, maybe not here. If you have some googly eyes, you could add them on to make something exciting. You could make turn something into a monster, maybe, or maybe a tree. You have to be really creative. These little splashes look great to put if you put a face on them, they could be little monsters. Or I thought just now when I was looking at them because of the colour, I thought they could be little chicks. Put some little wings on it as well. What do you think? Well, this one could be a little flying chick. Okay, now you do have to be creative boys and girls, you have to use your imagination, you can use old bits of paper, the idea is you can be creative with anything. Now, if you don't have anything lying around, ask your mum or dad or nanny or whoever's at home to make an oops for you. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick scribble, um, okay, a scribble. I'm going to do another one. Um, I'll use a different colour. Okay, so ask your mum, mum or dad or somebody to make you an oops, and then your challenge is to make it into something exciting. Oh, now what could this be? Okay, it's got a curly bit. The curly bits, I thought, it could look a bit like a wave in the ocean, or maybe a snail's shell or maybe a cat's curly tail most children in our school know that i love cats i have two cats actually how about these could be the cat's ears that could be some cats some of the cats here around its face. You need to be really creative, boys and girls. I'm just thinking as I go. And this could be the cat's curly tail. Now, hmm, I'm sure you'll have lots more ideas than me. It could be a flower. Yeah, this could be a nice rose. I think I'm gonna make it into a snail's shell. So if this is the shell of the snail, I'm going to have this bit for the snail's body poking out of the shell. And then here's the snail's shell. Okay, it's not perfect, but I'm being creative, I'm problem solving, and you can do the same. Well, I can't wait to see your oops drawings, boys and girls. Be creative with, with whatever you can find. You can use more than these resources. You can use whatever you've got at home. You could make it into a collage. Um, this is the afternoon activity for year two, three, and four. Okay, so you're different age groups, but I'll be expecting different levels of engagement, 
different use of resources, different drawing skills um, for all of you. Okay, I can't wait to see. Please upload them as soon as you finish them.